Hello, this is going to be a quick video showing the new features from Unreal 5.3, um, focusing on counter rig and some changes they did in the sequencer. So let's have a look. So here I just have an empty scene and I have my counter rig mannequin. Um, I'm just going to do a quick animation. So keyframe here, move to 60, move keyframe. Um, so you might be familiar that before you could just bake this animation into an animation sequence. So I'll just do that so we can um, have a look. I'll just say here, baked. And these would uh, generate just an animation um, file, an anime set file. Oops. <laughs> um, yeah, export. Then you create an animation, which will be this one, right? So you have just an animation file here with the animation you created. But now there is this new thing called create linked animation sequence. This is similar to what they used for live link. Um, so the idea is that while you're animating in this scene, in sequencer, there will be a linked animation asset that will be updated live as you move, as you change on the scene in the counter rig. Let's just do it so, <laughs> so it's a bit easier, a bit easier to understand. Uh, so if I create a linked um, animation, so link it. You give me the same kind of export options as the baking option. So this is my linked animation, which so far still looks like the same that we had with the other one. But I'll leave this one open. And then if I come here, let's say halfway through, and I go up and I keep frame. And I need to save. If I don't save, it doesn't like refresh. So if I go back to this animation now, then it's doing the new animation I created. Um, and so on and so forth. So if I keep changing things here, if I rotate now and save, oops, I did a keyframe. As for keyframe, save. And if I go back to my animation, yeah. Uh, the file created considered the full length of the sequencer, so just have that in mind when you are creating an animation. Let's say, if, let's say if I reduce. Actually, I haven't tested that yet. If I reduce, if the linked animation will um, if I lose the animation that is linked, I can just come here and click Open Linked Animation. Uh, yes, cool. Yeah, it reduced the, the time frame. That's nice. Um, so another feature that was added in here is this option to export and import an FBX directly. Before you would go to your animation kind of file, then you click here and then you go asset action, export, and then you export the FBX. Uh, but now they created this thing that you can export automatically. So let's see how it looks. I click on export and I'll just choose my desktop and mannequin export FBX. It comes with options of exporting the preview mesh and things like that. If I click export. So I have Blender here open. Let's see how it looks like. Import FBX. You can see the keyframes are correct. Yeah, for some reason the Scalto Mesh came, even though I selected to not import. Uh, but yeah, we can see the animation is being played and doing the same movements. Um, but 
one thing that I've tested and I don't think is working correctly is that if I then import an animation here, it doesn't seem to work. Uh, so what I will do is I will delete the counter rig so there is no animation anymore. If I come here and I click import and I import the mannequin um, and I press import, nothing happens. If I go to my output log, I notice that it's failing to find the nodes, which are basically the the name of the controllers. Uh, I mean, sorry, the name of the bones, right? If I go here, if I go skeleton, yeah, this is how the bones are called, and then for some reason, it's not finding them. Um, I'm not quite sure why. But another thing, the third thing I wanted to show is that you can also, let's put back the control rigging here, you can also export an FBX, but for the controllers in control rig. Um, so let me show an example. If I keyframe here and keyframe here, and then if I go export, so I need to be clicked on the actual control rig, not the uh, not the character, like the, the top group here. It needs to be on top of the group, on top of the counter rig. So if I go export counter rig FBX, uh, counter rig FBX, export. And then if I open, let me just open a new um, blender, a new scene. If I import this FBX, you see that there is no um, there is no skeleton. It's actually just a bunch of empty groups, and these groups have the keyframes. Uh, so you can see here, for example, the global control, which is the the name of the control that I keyframed. It has the keyframes here. Um, for some reason, it bakes every keyframe. Um, I'm not quite sure if you can reduce that option, which would be really helpful. But yeah, this is this is the idea. So let's go back in here and let's delete this animation. So nothing's been played. And if I import Control Rig and I go on Control Rig FBX, um, it gives me the frame rate and all the things. Uh, that I can change if I go import, then it's back. And you only keyframed the global control, which was the only one that had keyframes originally. Um, so yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Um, they did other improvements as well, uh, especially in the curve editor now. Um, it's a bit easier to navigate, um, to select like keyframes and to transform things um, which was yeah it was it was a really good thing to touch because the navigation here wasn't the best uh, it seems like to be very similar to what we have in Maya anyway now uh, so that's really good um, well I think that's it thank you for watching and see you next time bye